what do you think you might take? Because like you're going tomorrow morning yeah, af yeah. after oh, over a month. Exactly. And then probably after a week, it'll feel a bit like a dream. What do you think you'll it's take possible. back into your life? I think every single time that I'm in this kind of these projects and communities, I always think like, that is doable. That one is like, it's possible. It is, sometimes it's easy that you are seeing those things so far away. It's like it's more sort of utopical kind of lifestyle. Yeah. But here you can see that it's like, it's not easy, but it's doable. It's a lot of work. But yeah, I think in the end of the day, you have like a place that you can like possibly leave and you know how it was built and you know how to fix it. And for me, it's kind of sort of a really like empowering feeling that's like, yeah, it's possible. No, had you done anything like this before? No, it's my first time volunteering. So you're leaving tomorrow and um, what do you think you're taking away with you and what are your thoughts about what you, you've you learnt here and what you might do with it in the future? Mm -hmm. So for sure the biggest thing I take out from here is really community, the power of uh, being together, really listen and just how when we are together we are stronger and we can make things way more powerful and way bigger than alone like as individuals we are unique of course but as a community we are really powerful um, secondly is just to here I could just be myself which is really important so you've been here for like two weeks or something mm -hmm. and you've got a couple of days left do you think that when you leave here it'll all just feel like a bit of a dream for me, this is a place that is not for a one-time visit. I think it's a place to come back to. It's a place to, you know, uh, to see how it grows, uh, to meet people again and again. And uh, I, I hope I can be involved in this project, you know, in the future um, and continue um, you know the a super adobe philosophy which is like okay we teach people a easy simple way to build things in a relatively short time uh so i can see you know in the future groups forming and more people arriving and just this place uh thriving basically so. what would you say is the best and worst thing about this so the best is this beautiful river first as we have it just right here i absolutely love it we go swim in it every day that also takes it's not the worst because now it's very good but we have to shower in it <laughs> which can be challenging <laughs> i would say um more it can be also challenging for people to adapt sleeping uh, in nature at night even though adam really tries to we have good mattress, we have good conditions, but can be challenging just to sleep here in the middle of nature with all of these sounds. So what would you say is the best and worst thing about being here? Oh. Uh, the worst, the worst when I'm, uh, when I'm dropping my, uh, my sleeping bag on the floor and I'm like freezing suddenly in the middle of the night. That's not really nice. Um, and the best, I think, uh, well, reconnecting to nature and uh, the river time. <laughs> have you got anything you want to say about the river? I do have it. First, it's amazing. Uh, like, because I've been here for a month and I think only three days I didn't go to the river because it was a rainy day, rainy, like really rainy. But still, after all those days, when I'm first, when I'm thinking about going to the river, my, my, my mind says, you're going to be cold, it's going to be too, too hard. So there is always this little barrier. But you, even if I'm aware that when I'm cross it, the barrier is gone, it's always there. And I think. I can relate these towards other challenges in life that even if I've done so many times, there is always this kind of doubting about myself and yeah, but 
sometimes you just have to kind of just go for it. So if somebody was sat at home watching this thinking, I don't know, I'm not sure, like it seems like a good idea and I'm interested, but I'm not sure about it. Is there anything you would say to them? Well, I would su suggest for them to ask themselves if uh, what they are doing, is it working? And if they are having this question in, in his mind, it's because probably it's not. So why not give it a shot? Yeah. Try something different. Try something really out of their comfort zone and out of everything they thought was right before. And so if somebody was sat at home thinking about doing something like this, but not quite sure whether to take the jump, is there anything you'd say to encourage them? Yeah, just, uh, just do it. <laughs> it's easy, it's fun, it's, uh, you know, you can find your place in here. You can create whatever you, uh, you want to create. It's up to discussion. Uh, it's very soft environment. It's very loving environment. So I think there is nothing to be afraid. And so if somebody sat on their comfortable sofa in front of the TV at home thinking, I could really do with a change and doing something well, different, but this all feels a little bit kind of hardcore. Is there anything you'd say to encourage them? Just go for it. <laughs> like, you can, like, every decision that you take is not final. So you can just go for it, and then if you regret, you can always come back to whatever comfort you had before. Here, Adam really can take the best out of you, and you just really need to be you. You don't need to fake nothing. You don't need, you don't need to be nothing else or someone else, uh, by being you, you're really adding to the place and to the people. Yeah, just uh, help yourself, you know, trying natural, uh, natural uh, resources, you know, just the uh, sun and uh, being barefoot, walking on the grass, connecting with people creating some music on some art or, uh, you know, jumping into the river naked. Just, you know, just try. 